On the death of a friend by Anne Lynch Botha. The voice no bell to peal thy funeral dirge, no nodding plums to wave above her briar, no shroud to wrap thee from the foaming surge, no kindly voices thy dark way to cheer, no eye to give a tribute of a tear, alone, unnailed, uncoffined, thou hast died, without one gentle mourner lingering near. Down the deep waters thou unseen didst glide, with oceans countless there to slumber side by side, or sleeps not with her fathers. Of a bed, the flowers that deck their tombs may never wave to plead remembrance for thee, or of a head, a scattered marble shall rise. Her grave is the dark boundless deep, whose waters lay the shores of empires, and those swords the rest of them their side and depths, they only gave a circling ripple, and the forming crest the booming waves were all of their unconscious guest. It is sad that far beneath the wild waves rushing, where sea flowers bloom on a fable Paris dwell, that where the restless waters cease their gushing, and leave her dead within some sparkling cell, the gems are gleaming, and the lone sea shell is breathing its sweet music. And tis sad that time, a weaver of our earth a spell of blith and ruin, of the ocean's dead he passeth lightly on, with trackless silent tread. Then, on a marble, air shall rise for thee, the monument to mark thy last long home, when ocean grave on honour shall not be, the coral insect there shall rear to whom, that age shall ne'er destroy, and there shall bloom the fadeless ocean flower, and though the glare of the bright sunbeams ne'er shall light its gloom, with glancing eyes and forms unearthly fair shall throng her around their couch, and her my requiem there. Now fare thee well, have not weep for the devoted passer soon away, the vulva words still in the boyhood's youth, in the fair brow and dim by age, yet sad was my young heart, for we had seen the light of life depart, and love had frowned on his white, burning spell around me, and of deep insidious art had maddened thee. When sounded loud the knell of all thy bright young dreams, my earliest friend, farewell.